once again, we got the man, the myth, the legend. Like the camo shirt, by the way. Thank you, I'm trying to blend in. These are the most expensive discs on infinitediscs.com right now. And that's not, you know, I mean, there's dyed discs that are expensive or like signature discs. This is just a disc and it's $40. How much do you think this would be if they put a hook die on it? <laughs> 200? <laughs> maybe, maybe 200. <laughs> it has a name, it's a Proto Flight Distance Driver. Distance driver is the name, no flight numbers. And the reason why it's so expensive is because it's not molded. It's made through the process of CNC, which is where they take a block of plastic and shave it down. We might have made a mistake. We thought that all these three discs were the same. Well, they're not, which makes our critiques of this disc so much more funny, but they're actually all three totally different. One's overstable, one's stable, and one's understable. And we thought that they were called just the distance driver. We literally thought it was a proto flight distance driver. That's all I had been formed. I was mistaken. They're actually called CNC minus CNC and CNC plus. And that's how you define the difference between the flights as well. And it's hilarious that we didn't know that because we might've talked some crap. So the red one is actually the CNC plus. That one's overstable. The orange one is just CNC, proto flight CNC. That one's gonna be the most neutral. And then the blue one is the CNC minus, and that's the most understable. Sorry for the mistake. Hindsight, pretty funny. Glad I caught it. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm not done talking. It's actually pretty cool because they all feel the exact same, but they fly different. And I think that's where the CNC, how it's made, comes into play. So now I'm done talking. Enjoy the rest of the video. Uh. So they actually named it Distance Striver. Yes. So they got creative. I like that. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, well, these... you know what you're getting when you Yeah, yeah, yeah you buy a Distance Striver and you're like, I got the distance driver. <laughs> Don't know what it does. There's no flight numbers. I think it's supposed to be comparable to a destroyer. That's what everyone wishes. <laughs> That's what everyone says. All we're gonna do is we're gonna toss these around, maybe throw a couple drivers too, see how they compare, see his thoughts on if they should be worth 40 bucks or not. First impressions, it's a little soft, which I wouldn't say soft, it's just the flight plate is like pretty flimsy, which isn't my favorite thing when it comes to me picking a distance driver, but I feel like it has this like kind of easy release like technology here, almost like a prodigy driver because it, a typical driver like a destroyer or a boss or whatever, emperor has, it goes down and then straight down, which kind of creates this like little notch that you'd put in, for me, this is how I hold it. So this like easy release technology or this like curved rim might feel more comfortable in your hand this way, but it kind of makes the disc to me feel a little weird without that like rigid edge. So gonna see kind of how I feel about that. Haven't ever really thrown too many discs that have this technology, whether they meant to do it or not. Um, but I know when Prodigy came out that it was easy release. That way? Sure. Do we know if there's like a pond over there? Or no. Do they I, float? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, well. For 40 bucks, you hope so. For 40 bucks, this thing better be unlosable. It better start beeping when you, it's like someone's close. Oh my gosh. Okay, if you throw it <laughs> 65 miles an hour, it's gonna fly really good for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you throw it as far as I do, it might turn. But let's see if we can put a little more hyzer on it. And Okay, so the orange one's understable. The red one is stable. Do we think the blue one? I think it's understable. Think it's understable? Yes. Okay. Throw that one on the same line. I bet it flies. Much How could these three be? How could they be different <laughs> when, especially when they're CNC'd and not molded? Yeah. Proto flight distance driver CNC. Come on. Oh, there it is. Um, it's going that way. How far did you actually throw those? I don't know, but I know that they all three of those discs did this. Whew. Seems confusing. I don't know. I think we're going to stick with the Emperor, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> so here's a boss. We're at Ledgestone this week. Um, been using this disc a lot out here just because it goes a little further than the Emperor. But uh, let's see how this flies comparative to our CNC counterpart. There it is. So probably safe to say that that went like 70 feet further. Well, I will say it's pretty fun to watch. <laughs> 
when you play with a guy that throws like 150 feet further than you do. So we're gonna go find those and then finish up this video. Maybe I'll throw one, but it's embarrassing compared to that. Well, I think you should throw whatever one went the most right. Bruh. Blue. Okay, I'll throw the blue one and then we'll wrap up the video. So stay tuned if you wanna see a not as impressive throw. Hey, uh, this wasn't approved by any people important, but if I make this, we're giving these away in the comments, so. Okay. Sorry, you're not gonna get one of these because I can't make it. No, 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 you go. We wanna see you. Can I make it? Nope. That's why I'm not on the Disc Golf Pro Tour right there. Is that why? Yeah, <laughs> that's, well. It's, it's not your putting? Quite, actually it is my, it, <laughs> definitely my putting. My putting is bad. Oh my gosh, okay. Turn the, turn the camera off. All right, I'm gonna throw the orange one. This was kind of like the middle one. Then we're gonna finish the video. What do you think about the, like, cause I think the CNC technology is supposed to hold up for longer. Is that a myth or do you think that would actually be the case even though it's same plastic? I mean, I see it like the durability, like the only thing that like gets destructed on a disc that's molded is like the parting line. Yeah. You know where like the mold meets on the wing? Yep. Um, so I mean, I guess if it stopped that from happening, but overall I, mean, I think it's a piece of plastic. If it's the same plastic as another yeah. piece of plastic and you roll them on the road a hundred times, they should both be. <laughs> All four of your tires in your car wear out similar, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw this. We just did a form video, so I'm gonna try to lower. I'm gonna try to pull from lower, strong grip, and give it a rip. Dude, that's in your bag. What Came are you waiting low, for? But I liked it. Let me throw one more. Dude, Let me that's throw this it. Blue that's one. in your bag. I'm gonna try to actually throw this one pretty hard. Oh, I did kind of the same thing. And you slipped a little bit. Uh, I mean, it went decently far. Could be worse. What's up? How are you? Good, man. Perfect. Thanks, bro. Yeah, you have a good day. No one ever asked to take pictures with me. Yeah, hey, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Infinite Disc YouTube channel. CNC Disc. I think if you got the right one and you were able to test a few of them to know what they're going to do, you could probably honestly find one like the red one that's stable and good for me, and then a blue one that's understable and good for Connor. So if you're willing to try them, maybe go to a local pro shop or something that might let you test the disc out in the field or something like that. Um, if you can't test it out, $40 investment, I say just buy yourself a good old emperor, <laughs> buy yourself two or three of them, you're gonna get a good disc. But overall, kind of a weird feel to me, but that red one did fly really good. I'm sure if I learned it, I'd be able to use it. The orange one flew good for Connor. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.